The cottage hearth beams warm and bright, the candles gaily glow, the stars emit a kinder light above the drifted snow. Down from the sky a magic steals to glad the passing year, and belfries shake with joyous peals, for Christmas tide is here. Smells Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile broke its wheel and the Joker got away. Ah, ah. Eggnog and black spiced rum. Hmm. Ah. Well. Hello, my creepy kitties. It is I, your host, Mr. Whiskers, the Mad Catter, here to bring you a, a special Christmas Eve treat for the holidays called Christmas with Catter. And that's also what the special treat tomorrow will be called. But this is, this is the beginning. Oh, hello. Yes, are you trying to figure out what is going on? I see you want some of the nog. No, this is my nog. Say hello to the people out there. Cleo says hello. Yes? What? Well, I suppose Miss Cleo wants some attention. She is Cleocatra, queen of the cabin. <laughs> and very chatty, too. Anyhow, for this little tea time treat, I present to you a delightful and cheery and festive poem that in no way involves monsters, zombie Santas, and copious amounts of violence. All right, it does. It totally does. What can I say? I'm a terrible liar. Anyhow... Without further ado, I present unto you The Fright Before Christmas. Enjoy. Oh. Twas the Fright Before Christmas by Arthur Unknown. "'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house "'Not a creature was stirring, not even a louse. "'The traps were all set by the chimney with care, "'in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would step there. "'The children were nestled all snug in their beds, "'while nightmares of body parts danced in their heads. "'And Mama with her hatchet, and I with my axe, had just settled down for our little nightcap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my chair to see what made the splatter. Away to the window I flew in a flash, tore open the shutters and ripped through the sash. The moon on the breast of the blood-stained snow gave a hideous glow to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear, the watchman was dead with a knife in his ear. There, on the lawn, knelt a man rather thick. The blood on his coat told me he was Saint Nick. More rapid than vultures, he sprang to his feet. This zombified Santa was hungry for meat. Where are the children? I want them now. Bring them down to me, you ugly fat cow. 
On time and impatient, I've come to your home. I hunger for brains, and I'm not alone. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, a legion of demons flew down from the sky, and up to the housetop this evil took roost, with red beady eyes and long pointy tooth. And then, in a heartbeat, I heard on the roof the digging and pawing of each demon hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came down with a growl. He was dressed in all the hair of the dead he had skinned, and his clothes were blood-stained from both women and men. With a bundle of cutlery hung on his back, he grabbed for a knife and began his attack. His eyes, they stared through me, his smile freaking scary. His nose was all wrinkled like an old rotten cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. He slashed at my leg and I fell to the floor. A stump of my limb he held tight in his teeth and the blood seeped from it to white tile beneath. He had a cruel face and some blood in his beard. His expression was empty, for my life I now feared. He was ugly and evil, a sick little elf. And I knew things must change for my kids and myself. With my leg now missing, my wife surely dead. I pushed from the floor and kicked Nick in the head. He spoke not a word, but fell straight on his back, and all the traps sprung with a thunderous snap. Laying there writhing right where he fell, this bastard passed right through the doorway of hell. The demons then vanished. My children were safe. I sat there crying, beginning to faint. But before I passed out, I screamed with all of my might, Scary Christmas to all and to all a good fright. (laughs) Well, wasn't that fun? Hopefully he taught his children how to tie tourniquets. Sounds like he's going to need one. Possibly more, depending on uh, what other wounds he may have suffered. (laughs) Mm. Well, my creepy kitties, this is just a taste. For you see, on the morrow I will present to you the uh, Christmas special story, uh, as well as bringing a number of the holiday specials I have had on the podcast over to YouTube. Something I recently discovered I never did. Hmm, go figure. Anyhow, alas, my friends, the time has come. I am afraid our stories are done. So as you drift off, to sleep. Perhaps St. Nicholas you won't hear creep upon his eight long clawed legs, bringing you wassail in massive booze-filled cakes. So don't you peek, don't you fret, And don't you fright. And to all of you, my creepy kitties, happy holidays and good night.